everybody, I'm Slavon Torsky and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over Marvel's next War Table weekly blog number 11. Uh, there's still, still no DLC like we want, so I'm a little bit disappointed at that. But they do have a couple updates, little tease, things like that on here, and some pretty cool artwork. But uh, let's go ahead and hop in. I forgot to give you a heads up before this even starts as to what to expect. So this is weekly blog number 11. It was created on November the 11th, and today is Friday, November the 13th. So it's Friday the 13th we're recording this video. So here's the introduction, asking about how everybody's November is, modifiers, etc., etc. All right, so weekly updates, priority missions. The iconic mission is Along Came a Spider. Modifiers, Resurgence Class Capacitor. Uh, they also have Enter the Avengers, Modifiers, Goliath, Scourge, Maelstrom, Oasis. We've all done those missions a thousand times, so it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, Priority Harm Challenges. So this one will get you the Black Widow's 2014 number 3 comic. Number 13 comic, excuse me. Uh, let's see, it looks like this comic book gives you 1% stat slash statish meter damage. So collecting a bunch of those will help to increase that. So... If you feel like grinding away at that, you can increase that status for you. Uh, let's see, for the Mega Hive, the modifiers are Resurgence, Torpedo, Heavyweight, and Turmoil. Uh, so it's the same as before as far as the gear. It increases as you continue through it. We have the Pro Tips section for Resurgence, Torpedo, Maelstrom, and Collider. So not much there. We've already all pretty much been through all these and know what to expect. Uh, so the Marketplace update, uh, we have some new skins that are available for Black Widow and Iron Man. Seems like they're focusing on the two of them this week. Uh, the Epic suit for, or honestly a lot of these suits for Black Widow are just kind of reskins. It looks like the one is a reskin of her pre-order outfit. And Iron Man also, he's the one on the far right there, it looks like a reskin. Well, that, it is a reskin of his pre-order outfit. But honestly, I'm kind of digging it, because I love that outfit for him, that retro Iron Man suit. Uh, as you can see, the prices have gone back up as far as the nameplates and the costumes. So the takedowns are still half price. They have staying that way, but everything else is price went up. The sale has ended. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's kind of a very dry um, War Table weekly blog. There's not much in here. For as far as patch notes, they're showing what the patch we went over previously, version 1.3.5, which a bunch of fixes for rare issues. Uh, it is nice that they're getting into fixing rare issues now, so I'm hoping that means that they're opening up people to be able to work on content, because that's honestly what we need right now. I love this game and I want it to succeed, but they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot by not releasing more content sooner. I know the AIM Cloning Labs should be coming up here soon. It is almost halfway through November. Uh, so they also said Kate Bishop was only slightly delayed. That implied two weeks, but my assumption is we're not probably we are probably not going to see her show up until the end of the month. It just feels that way. They're they keep delaying things over and over. I'm sure they're dealing with a lot of bull on their end. I don't know what all they're dealing with. I mean they did say that people have been relocated due to fires and COVID is hitting them pretty hard so I get it my job has similar things that are going on but we found a way around it and I'm kind of hoping they are too uh, so we have here social announcements weekly stream recap community spotlight so it looks like the PlayStation community challenge is up this week and you get the Black Widow 37 nameplate. This doesn't apply to me because I play on Xbox. Wish I could have gotten a Series X, but the bots got them. Community Spotlight. I kind of like all these uh, these photos that picture people are taking. They're really good. People put a lot of effort in getting some good photos on these. But as you can see, there really isn't much in this blog. There's no real new content updates, the skins are reskins. I know they were there since the beginning, and they're just releasing stuff, kind of trickling it out, so this has been a slow week for them. I'm hoping, 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 as we get closer to the end of the year, 
that things start to up for them. Because you know when Thanksgiving rolls around and the holidays, they're not going to be in the office. That's That would just be brutal for them. I, I kind of would hope they wouldn't be in the office and would rather spend those holidays with their families. So I'm hoping that they're pushing these crazy bugs out of the way and they're getting this content ready up and pushed to the end of the month. I almost said end of the year. I'd rather it be end of the month at least so we have something to do during the holidays. Other than the other games which I've bought and playing and enjoying the crap out of. If you haven't seen the Yakuza streams, the new Yakuza game Like a Dragon is awesome if you're into those at all. I was thinking about starting a series on that. It's a pretty cool game. But uh, that's all I have for Marvel's Avengers War Table Weekly Vlog number 11. It's very dry, very minimal. It's kind of skimming through it, trying to find anything. There really isn't much. And uh, now, other than the, uh, the skins, there's really not too much. Now, you do see they did have a little teaser here in this image. That is a icon for Kate Bishop's mission, I believe. So that's kind of a little teaser, letting them know that they are still working on it. But um, it is a very tiny little tease. We kind of need a little bit more than that at this point. So I still have faith in the game. I just feel like it's one of those ones. It's not going to hit its stride probably till next year. Uh, I do honestly, at this point, even though I love the game, I tore through it. All my characters are max level. Their power levels are almost all 150. I've completed most of the challenge cards. Captain America is the only one left. I do feel like they released it too soon. They should have taken the time to work on it some more. I, I know I've said I, I'm glad that they released it early, but if there's this much of a gap in content between when they release it, yeah, it's kind of drying up because the content isn't the best and it's extremely repetitive. I kind of only play the game maybe twice a week now and not for that long. Usually just to complete challenges or, uh, in this case, I'm trying to get my final achievement for the game, which are the hides, which that's the longest one it takes. And I'm trying to finish out Captain America's Challenge Tree, which I'll probably do that this week. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, you, can, you can tell I'm a little bit, eh, I'm a little bit kind of bummed out we didn't get more, but I'm sure we will eventually. I just have to find other games to play until they do. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. That's why you get multiple games. But... That's it for today. I hope everyone out there has a good one. Uh, if you like the videos, subscribe. We're going to try to do, I keep saying we, like there's more than one person that does this channel. This is the one person show here. But I, for some reason I talk to it like it's a company. Or talk about it like it's a company. But I am going to try to start some more uh, videos, keeping track of games and updates, things like that. And just let me know which ones you suggest. I know uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out. I tried to record the first hour or two of it and I kind of had some sort of error with Twitch where it didn't record any but three minutes. So I'm going to get back on that and redo it and see if I get that back up there for everybody. Uh, but yeah, we'll go. So let me know if there's any other games you think I should follow and maybe do some follow-up videos like this on. I think it's kind of easy for me to do. It's not too bad. I can take a second away to knock out a video and send it up real quick. But uh, that's all I have. I know I've said it like four times, now I think I officially mean it, that that's all I have. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm hoping maybe by uh, first quarter next year I can get up to a thousand subscribers. We're getting there. We're pretty close. We're on our way to 800 right now. So I appreciate everybody for doing that and I really I never <laughs> figured that the channel would actually build this quickly. It's awesome. But uh, I hope everyone out there stays safe. Have a great one. Especially considering it's Friday the 13th. Watch your back. You never know. Don't do like I was going to do today and go jogging at a park at night. That's just how horror movies start. I know better. I'm staying home. I'm wearing my play carrier and I'm keeping the rifle loaded. <laughs> you never know. We'll talk to everybody again next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.